Hello? Alexi! Oh, nice to hear you. Okay, so about the child installation. So you need to postpone the installation or what you want to do is to come and prepare the floor one week before and then do the installation because you can't as we had planned it in the beginning. Okay, let me just check. Oh, I see. For, for me it's uh, really fine. The only issue that we have is that we won't get the tides before the 21st of June. So it's then that you come. Perfect for me. Really perfect. I can't just move this. I have an issue with my project management here. There is something going wrong. I think I know. It's about constraints. It's Christian from Vision 6D and today we are going to look how we put constraints on dates into project management. We have two tasks. The first one is to prepare the, the floor. It's what you saw on the video. And the second one, it's the tile settings. And Alexi, when he calls me, he says that he cannot come those two days to do the tiles settings. So he proposes me to move from one week ahead with the preparation of the, of the floor. So it's what I did when I moved here the first task. But unfortunately, the, the tides setting, they also moved. And my issue is that we cannot get the tiles before the Monday 22nd of June. So you see here the issue I'm facing. So in order to achieve what we want, we must put a constraint on the task of the tile settings. To do that, I simply go into the information of the task and in the advanced part, you see here that we have the possibility to add a constraint. The constraint is composed of two elements, a type and a date. The date we know, it's the 22nd of June. Setting it. And now we are going to look if there is a constraint type that could be useful to us. And you see that we have different kinds of constraints. And the one that interests me and that will solve my case, hope, oh, is start no earlier than when we get the tiles. So I set this and I say here, OK. And as we could expect, nothing has changed. Now let's look if I'm moving the task to the week before what happened. So I'm saying, OK, I'm going to do this one week earlier. And we see here that due to the constraint, the task which is setting the tiles cannot move one week earlier because we have a constraint on the date to arrival of the tiles. I mean the delivery of the tiles. I could also have solved this in another way by setting for the tile setting date when it has to, to start. But by doing that, we lose the dynamic that we have in our plan. And you never know if you have to replan something. So it's always better, but more difficult to understand when you are using constraints. You are keeping more of the dynamic into your plan. Here you see that uh, we have in the first column, the column of information, we have now an icon that came and it's telling us that on this task we have a constraint, which is start no earlier than the 22nd of June. When you have added um, time constraint, it's a good habit to, to have to add a note. Remember you that you've set the date constraint because you cannot be delivered before 22nd of June. 
with that you know that you have a constraint and you have here an explanation of the constraint when i look at default task how they are inserted for example here in the automatic mode i have two tasks here one is plumbing and the other one is electricity we see that we don't have any constraints on those tasks and if i go into information for that task we'll see that the constraint type is as soon as possible and there are no constraint date so this is valid when you have an automatically scheduled task so now let's admit that the plumbing will start on the 15th of june so for that i go here onto the calendar and i select the 15th of june and we see immediately what we expected the task is moved to the 15th of june what is interesting to notice it's here we have an icon that is pulling our attention i'll come back to it and another new icon that says we have a constraint so this is really strange we have a constraint which is start no earlier than the 15th of june this means that whenever we set a start date or a finish date ms project is interpreting this as a constraint and it shows us that we have a time constraint by showing us this item now attention mark here is telling me that entering a start date is setting a constraint so do we really want to keep that constraint on that date or do we want to remove the constraint and we are going to look what happens if we remove it so project automatically scheduled it as as early as possible and it has removed the icon of the constraint so generally speaking if we want when we have a constraint it's a link with a date so in our case when i was moving my first task it moved everything you see so this was the situation we had what i need to do is to come and establish a link between the task and a day in that way when i'm going now to move it we will see that the date is supposed to block it's the constraint so a constraint is really a link between a task and a date here i have the help of microsoft about those constraints uh, what i want to say is that there are different categories of constraint you see uh, the one we use by default in our task the as soon as possible is really a flexible one as is the one its counterpart as late as possible those are really the ones that are named flexible on the other side the opposite you see here we have constraint like must start on or must finish on so these are really tough constraints and are absolutely not flexible and in between you have middle flexibility intermediary flexibility like finish no earlier than finish no later than and start no earlier than and start no later than those are the semi flexible ones to give you an example for the must start on imagine that you are organizing a conference with many guests and many participants so you said that conference must start on the 20 june it's really a tough constraint it's not uh, as soon as possible it's really the constraint must start on the 20 june i let you try to find out some usage of the other constraints and questions are always welcome so now you know about constraints 
you appreciated it. So thumb up, comment and subscribe to the channel. And you see behind me, Alexi is finishing the, the floor. So everything went really well. So see you soon for another video. Bye bye.